In this video, I'll show you how to build dependent drop down lists. And here are three dependent drop down lists. And the data set I'm using is in, cell, in this cell range here. So the first dependent drop down list is not dependent at all, it returns unique distinct values from this column here. And since there are only two values here, it shows two values. But if I pick the first one, the second one, the next drop down list is dependent and it shows the values from this column here, but only with the value 10, 20 here and unique distinct values. So duplicates are not shown. And graphics card here, keyboard and motherboard. And this is a duplicate and this is also a duplicate. And it's not showing sound card because 1010 is not selected up here, only 1020. So these values here show up in this dependent drop down list. And if I click keyboard and then go to the third drop down list, it shows only one value. And that is because there's only one value here that match both this and this. And actually there are two values, but only one unique distinct value. And if I change this one to motherboard, it should show Europe here. And it does. The three dependent drop down lists I'm going to build now um, allows you to choose the region first, and then the country, and then the product. And the table I'm using is this. And to simplify this, click on a value in, the, in your data set and then click and or press and hold control and then press T to convert it into an Excel defined table. Or you could go to tab insert on the ribbon and then click on table button and here select my table has headers and then click OK. So why do I want to use an Excel defined table? And that is because if you choose to add more values here you the ranges uh, change accordingly and so if I enter a cell reference here to the first column in this data table so if I enter a cell reference here to the first column in this table you can see that it the, ta the cell reference is somewhat different when you it is different when you link it to an Excel defined table. And this is what happens if you add more values to this table. You can now see that the cell reference points to this cell range here. But if I add more values here, you can now see that the cell reference has changed automatically. And in this case, that is very good. The next step is to create a formula that extracts unique distinct values from this column here. So the th first column is regions. And 
the next cell is where the formula where yes and I'm going to use the lookup function to return unique distinct values and I'm not going to explain how this works equal to zero and the last argument is the cell reference here and now it returns unique distinct values from this column here now I need to A2 again and A19. And then the lookup function 2. And a cell reference to this not equal to nothing comma row and a cell reference again to this cell range and enter it as an array formula and now you can see that this formula returns the values in this cell range here and if I add a value here the this formula here automatically includes that value that I wrote and so is this one click on the name manager button no copy the formula then click on the name manager button found on tab formulas on the ribbon click on new and call regions paste the formula here and then check that it works and it there is a one I have to shrink it minus one and now it works click OK and now it's time to build another formula next to the regions and that would be countries and the values here will show up in the drop down list here so it depends on what 
is selected in this cell here. And it's almost like this one. I'm going to change some of these arguments. It's not region here, it's country. And here. And it shows a zero here because there is a blank down here. So if I delete this record, it shows US here. But there should also be a condition in this in this formula. To do that, I need to add another parenthesis multiplied with a new logical expression. And the value I want to use is this value here and equal sign and then the value here, the col values in this column here. I need a value here to make sure that the formula works and I need another parenthesis equal zero. And I need a plus sign here and not equal. And now the countries for Asia, which is selected here, now shows up because Asia is here and here and the countries for in Asia is China and India in this data set. So now it works. The third column is the product column. And I'm going to use this formula. And I want a second condition. Here. And it should not be equal to the values here and I need a value here so China will do and this one returns the wrong the wrong value and I need it to return the value in the product is column. And now it seems to be almost right. China, China. And I forgot to change the cell reference here.
and I also forgot to change this cell reference Go back. and now it returns only oranges so the region is Asia and the country is China and this value shows up here the last thing to do is to build the formulas for these for the named ranges for these two columns and I have one here region and that one seems to work and I'm going to use the formula to build a new one countries and I need to change it the cell reference here to B because I want it here and here also and then B here too and it seems to work and the last named range is products and this is in column C and that one works too. Now it's time to build the drop down lists. And here is the first one. Go to tab data on the ribbon, click data val validation, and here click list and an equal sign and the name of the named range, which is regions click OK and now you can select the regions of the region you want here in this one I need to do the same steps again but I need to enter the name range countries here and now since I selected North America here I can only pick two countries here and the last drop down list and the name of the name range is products click OK button and apples Canada North America, Canada, apples. And now it works.